Hi everyone. The, uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to download uh, the Boolean Logic project, unpack it, edit and save an HDL file, and then run it in the hardware simulator. Okay, so starting from Canvas, let's go over to Phoenix. And here we have the files for project one. Click on that to download it. Note that I'm uh, on Phoenix right now in no machine because the hardware simulator is on Phoenix and no machine. So make sure uh, you're running no machine before you try this. Okay. The zip file downloaded into the downloads folder. There it is. Double click on it. Move this aside. Now you'll decide where you'll need to decide where you want to organize all your files. So as an example, I'll switch over to the desktop. Create a folder. Name it CS220. And then open that folder and then drag the folder in the zip archive to here. Now I'm finished with the zip archive. And if I wanted to, I could just, I may as well do it, get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. And come back over to the desktop. I'm going to see it's 220. And then open the Project 1 folder. So the files that we will be editing are the ones that end with a .hdl. The uh, project description recommends starting with the NOT gate. So let's do that one. And so we want to open NOT.hdl. Okay, and We'll enter the code for it right here. So the part that we're going to use is a NAND gate, which has the two inputs, A and B, or the two pins, A and B, and we're going to connect them to the NOT chips in pin. Okay, so the way we do that is start with what is the pin on the NAND gate that we want to connect well it's the A pin what do we want to connect it to in and the same thing with the NAND gate B pin and finally the NAND gates out pin we're connecting to the not chips out pin Now let's save that and here I know that the file is not saved because of the asterisk here whoops there's the save button it's saved now we're ready to open the hardware simulator and test this we're menu programming now with the hardware simulator Now, I'm going to load a script, a test script, and click this button, and go back to my home directory, desktop, CS220, into Tetris Project 1, and I want the test file for the NOT. Not the NOT16, the NOT. Okay, now. To run this automatically with all the steps, we use this button. If you wanted to run it one step at a time, you would use this button. So let's run all the steps. Okay, so we can see that that ran successfully. 
I wanted to do it again. And so reset things. And so that we can kind of see what's going on, I'll single step it. And this shows me what? It shows me that um, the input pin is set to zero. Right, so it ran these steps. We can see that the input pin set to zero. The output's a one, which is what we would expect for a not gate. On the next part, and again, I can see that the input pin is a one. The output is a zero, which is what we would expect. Okay, so that ran successfully. If you want to run the tests more quickly, which would be important if uh, for a long test, you can move this slider all the way over to fast and just run it through. It'll run much faster. <clears throat> if you make changes, right, so typically the way you'll be working is you'll edit an HDL file, run its script, if there are errors, then you'll come back to the HDL file and work on those errors. Let me introduce an error. I'm going to set B here to true. It should cause errors when you go to run the test. Make sure when you edit, don't forget to save. And then you can reset. and run the test again. Well, that worked fine. So let's try false now. Reset, run it again. Okay, now we have a comparison failure. Because we can see the input was a one, the output should be a zero, but instead it's a one. All right, so all this demonstrates is if you make changes to your HDL file, save them. Uh, when the next time you run the script, those changes will be picked up. So let's change this back to in. Save it. And then run again. Okay, so that demonstrates downloading the zip file, unpacking it, editing an HDL file, and then running that HDL's script in the hardware simulator.